Hey there Capricorn! Welcome to your reading for the month of May 2022. This is a general reading, so feel free to take with you whatever resonates and leave behind for others whatever does not. To get a deeper view into your month, be sure to check out your readings for Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. I'm going to start off with a Celtic Cross Tarot spread. And then I will close off the reading with an oracle card message. So let's get into it. I'll go ahead and lay out all these cards, identify the positions, and we will do some clarifications uh, as we go. So Overall, it seems like you have a lot of uh, positive cards here. In the current situation, you have the Temperance card, and what crosses it or complements it is the Ace of Wands. You have the above you, Nine of Wands, below you, the Hermit. In the past, you have Ace of Swords, Near Future, Nine of Cups. In terms of your current attitude view of the situation, you have Ten of Coins. Your Environment, the Lover's Card. In your Hopes and Fears, Nine of Coins. And the Outcome, you have the Four of Swords. So, let's see here. It seems like, you know, in the past you have the Ace of Swords that indicates a sense of, you know, clarity, some type of victory, um, some type of truth revealed. And in the current situation, you have this Temperance card, which is a sense of peace, a sense of, um, balance and transforming something, uh, you know, the past with the opportunities of the present to create a future that you want to have. And here you have the Ace of Wands, which indicates um, a new spark of energy and new idea something that you are bringing to life, some type of motivation. In terms of what's above you, you have the Nine of Wands. So it may seem like you've done a lot of work and you're willing to put in you know, more energy, but feeling a bit worn out. What's below you with the Hermit card it's a sense of, you know, having a sense of experience that has provided you with wisdom that is your truth. You don't really need to, you know, convince others of it, but you also um, like your time alone. Your view of the situation with the Ten of Coins here, it seems like basically you are, you know, looking at the uh, comfort, security, monetary, um, the monetary abundance that this new idea or project, this motivation is going to bring. And possibly you're already in a place where you are financially secure. Um, in your environment with this lover's card, this could this is considered external influences that affect you. So it could be that you are um, surrounded by people who are in relationships, committed relationships, or you are, you know, yourself inspired to pursue 
love um, if you aren't already in a committed relationship. And your hopes and fears, you have the nine of coins. So in terms of you know material wealth and security, it's something that you want to obtain, but you also don't necessarily want to enjoy it all by yourself. In terms of the near future, you have the Nine of Cups, which is feeling, you know, confident, happy, satisfied, and um, really taking care of yourself. In the long term, you have this Four of Swords, which is kind of, um, you know, drawing, withdrawing from hoopla, demands of life, taking a nap, taking vacation, taking a break, and uh, getting a sense of clarity. So let's go through and clarify these cards. Let's take a look at the Ace of Swords that you have in this past situation. You have the Death card. So some type of loss, transformation, um, potentially the loss is related to something that wasn't, um, you know, for your best or highest good. Or it could even be a transformation in the sense of um, um, like elevation and status in terms of maybe you have some type of uh, degree, license, certification, some type of new, you know, maybe even a, a, a new business, some kind of change that was... Um, in the past, but it did require you to let go of some things. And with the temperance card, it seems like you're okay with that in the sense of temperance card comes after the death card. You were able to make that transition, have a new sense of clarity and a sense of peace with that. So let's take a look at the, let's look at the Temperance card. You have the Ten of Cups. So I like how the Ten of Cups and the Temperance card have a, a rainbow in them. The Ten of Cups is a sense of, you know, happiness, joy for yourself, your friends, family, your community, and sharing that happiness pretty much you know, a concept of ha happy ever after. Um, and for me, I see the, the temperance card is kind of creating your heaven on earth. Um, and that the traditional temperance card, there's an angel and there is a mixing of some type of liquid between two, two cups, two chalices, goblets. And the, uh, I guess the angle at which the uh, containers are being held would indicate that something other than gravity is causing the liquid to mix. And you can see that the angel is really focused and has attention on these, uh, this liquid that's forming and an intention of actually creating, um, you know, something new in the process. And behind the angel, there's a path to um, some mountains and with the sun behind. So here, that's, I kind of see it as the temperance card as the ability to kind of create what it is you want. And if, you know, this Ten of Cups is almost like that happily ever after and that ha heaven on earth, whatever your definition of that, that is. So let's take a look at the, the Ace of Wands. You have the temperance card. <laughs> Again, 
So really all about creating. You have this clarity and now you have this, um, this uh, desire to create something new with a goal of this, you know, peace, love, happiness. And so it's definitely this uh, temperance card here is really letting you know that you are pretty much um, protected. You have the right, uh, what's the word, like the sentiment intentions for creating what it is you want. So let's take a look at your view of this situation because you have the 10 of coins and you have the 10 of cups here. So it's, it's as if you are looking at that you're confident in your happily ever after in the family you're going to have. And you have the three of cups clarifying the ten of coins here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's really as if you are already, you're already really enjoying the people in your life, your friends, your support system. Like you are really in a good place. So let's take a look at your, your hopes and fears over here because you have the nine of coins. You have the emperor. So it seems here that you have what it is, you know, your hopes, you're really already set for that. If you're looking for, you know, it's as if this emperor is is the ruler of that kingdom, that heaven on earth, what it is that they've created. You know, with the kids even. You can see that there's kids playing in the background. So it's a sense of really like trying to bring into existence this life where you are, um, you are really getting credit for this life that you put together and um, you're working hard to enjoy or like you know to build up what it is you want so that you can enjoy it in the future uh the emperors is you know a sense of power authority uh recognizing boundaries even putting boundaries in place so and delegating tasks so it seems that, you know, you are really, really in a good place. Let's take a look at the nine of wands up there. Let's see here. Oh, wrong deck. Not the wrong deck, but clarifying with this deck. Felt too big. Okay. So nine of wands that's above. What should we know about that? You have the karma card. Um, this is the equivalent of the traditional judgment card, which is basically taking um, an honest reflection of your past decisions, motivations, actions, uh, behaviors, agreements, disagreements, and, you know, recognizing your role in how they turned out and where you are and kind of like accepting it and releasing whatever isn't serving your best and highest good. Um, that could be, you know, something here, something that you already went through and you released it, you know, whatever is on your mind in terms of you know expending your energy and feeling that it's almost never ending you know perhaps you change jobs change careers where you gave up something so that you could um, have more you know work-life balance 
let's say, and it seems that here you've, um, that's something that is on your mind. So let's see what's below, which is the hermit, which is kind of is someone who accepts, you know, everything that they've done on their journey and keeps going. It's as if the hermit is constantly in this state of, you know, honest reflection. So let's take a look. You have the magician here. So, you know, at the core of this, you are really, your experience has put you in a good place where this peace, this calm um, that goes with your desire to create something new, create the life that you want, the happiness that you want, um, that peace is at the basis of this and you can use it to create, you know, with this magician, the world that you want, manifest what you want into reality. You have the tools, you have the skills, uh, the resources to make that happen. To some degree, this might even be a calling for you to be like um, your own, like uh, your own boss, like an independent business. Like you have that ability as well. So let's take a look at your environment because you have the lovers there. Lovers is, um, you know, about making decisions for the long term. And about being able to be in a partnership, in a union, communicate what it is you want, being honest, and just, you know, a sense of morality in that union as well. Being honest with the other person. And it's also about, you know, being honest with yourself. You have the Six of Pentacles, which is, you know, recognizing wants and needs, giving when you can give, asking for help when you need to ask for help. Um, and here, your environment, it seems like the people around you um, are really have, sh they show you what it's like to work together and work as a team. You know, it's not always going to be 50-50. Everyone's lives and skills and responsibilities are different. So it's pretty much balance and harmony however you need it. With the uh, lover's card, this is the six card and the major arcana, and then you have the six of pentacles, and six is about balance and harmony. So you've got that in your environment. This could be with anyone. Perhaps it's um, you know family or even your friends here where if you needed something, all you need to do is ask and vice versa. So you have a really supportive environment. Like, let's look at the Nine of Cups, which is in your near future. You have the Five of Cups. So here, it seems like you are going to be in, you know, happy and so forth. I would say just um, if there is something in the past that you need to kind of um, actually look at and deal with, possibly in relation to this judgment, feeling, you know, a little heavy on you. Um, make sure you take some time to not necessarily dwell in the past, but at least identify the factors involved, the role that you played in it, the role that other people played in it, and what you learned from that experience, and actually like heal that and move forward, which could be what you're needing because with the Four of Swords, um, this comes after the Three of Swords, which 
three swords is about disappointment, upset, um, can be betrayal, sense of hurt, and really uh, after going through those different um, stages or kind of part of going through it is just taking time to clear your head and just recover and be ready for the next, you know, day. So let's look at the Four of Swords over there. You have the Six of Cups, which is another another six, balance and harmony. Um, to some degree, this is about uh, getting help from people in your community. So if you need to take some time off, uh, let's say you have like a pet, maybe ask um, someone in your community, community a friend, uh, a sibling to watch your pet while you go on a vacation. This for some of you could be um, looking at you know your past and what it is that uh, kind of made you sad and how did you recover from sadness and really another point is to kind of get ideas for what made you happy growing up so that you can kind of include that in your happy ever after here in the, the ten of cups that you're going for and the ten of uh, coins that you're kind of in right now. So it seems that you have the month of May. It seems like you are going in a great direction. If you're feeling a little um, down from time to time, maybe take a look at something that you haven't really been looking at or maybe you were too busy to look at before. Um, didn't feel like you had the energy to or didn't think it was important but it looks like it's kind of popping up as an I something of importance this month so I'm pulling an oracle card to see which animal totem guides you in the month of May you have peacock vibrancy you were born to shine and inspire practice humility to avoid jealousy be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. So here you are going to be drawing a lot of attention if you haven't already. Um, even here with the 10 of coins, your view of the situation, being able to surround yourself with friends and in your environment where you have the six of pentacles could be that you have a lot more than others would um, and you're however you feel about that you know like wanting more or being sad that you you know for whatever reason um, it shouldn't you shouldn't feel like you have to hide it because other people might not be as well off as you but I would say just um, to the extent possible be grateful for what you have, be grateful for their support, and if you are kind of talking to your friends about what you're going through, um, you know, just practice humility in that. And if you don't think you, um, the people in your life would understand whatever it is you're going through because they think you have a lot, then perhaps, you know, go to someone who might be a little more objective, like a, you know, a counselor, or something along those lines. But basically, it seems like you're, you're doing very well. And just be aware of, you know, the happiness you have and your moments of where you might not be so happy, and the need for kind of getting away and relaxing and processing some things that might still be left over. So I'm hoping this reading provides a helpful perspective of your month, and we'll see you next time.
Take care.